It's time for uh, for me to give my declaration of principles and my uh, views and the kinds of things that you're going to be seeing on Do Rag Wisdom. And considering I've already published a few of these already without even giving any background, I think it's now time for me to give you some kind of uh, idea if you do tune into this program, uh, what you're going to be in for. Uh, first of all, why do I call my uh, my um, station, my program, Do Rag Wisdom? Uh, that's in memory of when I used to work for the school system. I was a teacher in the New York City school system for like 28 years. And um, they made up something called, and I call it, the Do Rag Axiom. And the Do Rag Axiom basically goes like this. Make up a rule that is so almost so impossible and so aggravating to enforce that it interferes with learning all the time. Because you know when I was working in the New York City school system, uh, basically as a teacher, I felt I was being undermined every step of the way by the uh, the suits above who uh, just wanted to protect their little office space and air conditioning from having to really deal with the children like the rest of us had to do. So anyway, we weren't allowed to have, kids weren't allowed to wear any hats. Uh, the first thing you had to do if a kid walked in with a hat or a do-rag, that was a real crave. People, do-rags, no do. You had to always ask the kid, please remove your hat, please remove the do. Some kids complied, some didn't. Some would say, take it off, and suddenly during the class would suddenly appear on their head again. It was the most aggravating part of the job to try to keep after these children to not wear the do-rags and the hats. And you know my attitude is, I love hats. Personally, if I could, I would have had everybody in the room here, put the goddamn hat on, don't worry about it. If you're going to sit there and learn something, wear the goddamn hat couldn't do that. So I decided to call this do-rag wisdom as a way of saying screw you folks out there in Board of Ed, the administrators and the stupid rules they make up that make it almost impossible for teachers to do their jobs. So uh, I'm called do-rag wisdom because it's my way of saying that uh, had I had my way, let them wear all the do-rags, uh, all the things they want. I, I don't care. Wear a, wear a, a a bowl of fruit on your head if you if you have to. As long as you as long as you're learning. As long as you're you're putting the time in to, to learn something. So uh, I'm called do rag wisdom because you know the hell with them and wear your do rags all you want. And there's another secret reason why I call my site Do Rag Wisdom, and now that's for another another time. I am what we call politically a Zio uh, uh, social uh, socialist, democratic socialist, atheist, member of the Jewish tribe, American, etc. All right, so that's a lot of stuff. Okay, what is a Zio progressive democratic socialist? Uh, I believe in the principles of liberalism. I believe in the principles of democratic socialism, which I'm not going to list here, but I believe in those principles. And I also believe in the principle of Zionism. Zionism. That's the Jewish people's right, the Jewish tribe's right to the entire land of Israel, including the so-called West Bank, which was always part of the historical land of Israel. Uh, if the Palestinians want to have a homeland, go to Jordan and call that Palestine, because that was what it was supposed to be in the first place. How Jordan got there, that's another story. But I am a Zio progressive democratic socialist and an atheist and a member of the Jewish tribe. And again, I could discuss that at length another time. But uh, the fact is, uh, 
Jews do not have to follow the religion in order to call themselves Jews. We were also made a nation by the Bible. And you're going to go, wait a minute, he's an atheist. By the Bible, a book written by ancient Hebrews, ancient men, who wrote that book. And they divided up the ancient planet at that time and they gave the Jewish people, or the Hebrew people at that time, because they weren't called Jews in those days. So we have a land, piece of land there, small piece of land, uh, and uh, I support that, that notion, because we live in a naked ape tribal society. And yes, I'd like to go beyond the tribal society, go beyond religion, go beyond all the stuff that separates us. But unfortunately, right now, at this stage of our evolution, we're still a bunch of tribal apes. And um, I'm not going to give up my tribe for the sake of anybody else's because throughout the history of the Jewish tribe, we've been called upon to sacrifice, to, uh, to assimilate, to, uh, to basically contribute but not be given the same respect in return. Any place that we have lived outside of Israel, we have been persecuted, we have been judged. And um, as much as I like to see a, un a unified world like, say, the Federation in Star Trek or something like that, I understand that at this point in revolution, once again, it's not going to happen. And uh, basically, I'm just not going to, you know, betray my tribe for anybody else for the simple reason that when push comes to shove, they're going to shove me, my tribe, off the, off the train. And, you know, I'm talking about the luxury passenger train. And, of course, if they had their way, they'd put me on another type of train, uh, a cattle car train, and send uh, me and the rest of my tribe to their dooms. Uh, so, uh, I'm just going to tell you all straight, based on what I've said so far, I am basically a person, you know, I'm not a, uh, you either love me or you hate me. That's the type of person I am. There are people who absolutely despise me, and I guess there are people out there who like me or love me, whatever it is. Uh, at this stage in the game, I don't really give a shit what anybody thinks about me. Um, I hope people tune in to watch this. I hope people subscribe to, to the, the views that I'm going to put forth here. Uh, but if they don't, they don't. If I have one subscriber, even one, if you're out there listening to me and you like what I say, I'm here for you. I'm going to tell you my commentary. Now, I speak extemporaneously, which means I really speak off the top of my head. So sometimes I may stumble here and there, but it's not... Uh, it's not something I'm going to always do. If I do decide to write scripts for these broadcasts, I will certainly let all of you know. Honesty is what I'm going to try to give all of you. My gut feelings about the world, society, people, everything that I possibly can. Politically, socially, even make good suggestions. I know I'm a pessimist. I know I'm very cynical about many, many things, but again, this, this is my soapbox. YouTube gives me the opportunity to have a soapbox, a way of communicating to people what I would like them to know. And in this crazy world today, this insane asylum that we live in, people need, especially young people, need as much guidance and help and help as, they, as we possibly can give them. So that, in a nutshell, is the nuts do Rag Wisdom's broadcast. Take it or leave it, here I am.